What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel and today I have a at home glute workout to show you guys and this glute workout is specifically going to target your gluteus medius so it's going to be working out the side booty and making that sad profile. So the majority of these exercises involve a hip abduction movement since that is the primary motion that the gluteus medius is involved with and also the gluteus minimus. Although the gluteus maximus makes up the bulk of your butt, the gluteus medius and the minimus are the two smaller muscles that are responsible for creating that like rounded shape on the side of your glutes. I hope everyone is doing well and being safe during this critical time. I was working on COVID-19 because I am an epidemiologist, so you know, this is my forte. So I was working on that for a little while and my shift is finally done. I'm so drained. I was basically working like 12 to 15 hour days. The videos and like Instagram posts that you saw me uploaded, I actually pre-filmed those, pre-edited it because I knew I wouldn't have any time to edit videos, film, workout. I hadn't worked out for a week because it was just so stressful and so many hours working on that stuff. So I'm finally done, but I am getting rotated in in another two weeks, which I'm like, oh. like it's really, really great work. It's just so tiring, like the hours are just so long. So I finally managed to get a workout in after quite a bit. And of course, my first workout, I gotta hit the glutes. Cause I've been literally sitting in my chair for like 12, 15 hours and yeah, my glutes were not activated. They were just like dormant for so long. Also, if you guys don't already, I would love it if you guys follow me on over at my Instagram. I post workout videos, stories, and photos. So if you do want to keep in touch with me when I'm not on my YouTube channel, then definitely follow me on over at my Instagram and subscribe if you aren't already. And if you already are subscribed, hit that notification bell and that way you can be notified every time I upload new videos like this one. So I hope everybody is safe and doing well. I hope you guys have been enjoying the home workouts that I've been posting on both my YouTube and my Instagram. Um, I've been trying to think of new ideas and new workouts because, you know, at home it can be a little limited if you don't have any equipment at all. Thankfully, I do have dumbbells, my long loop band, and my fabric band. My booty bands are actually sold out online, which is really unfortunate, but I will be restocking them. So a launch date will be very soon. I still do have long loop bands available. So I will have that link down in the description box if any of you guys are interested. They're really handy to have if you're performing home workouts. And they're so versatile, you can use them in so many different ways. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this you know, gluteus medius focused glute workout. And I will talk to you guys after. All right, guys. So today I'm going to be sharing with you a glute workout that is side booty focused. So we're first starting off this workout with a quick cardio warm up session. So the first exercise in this cardio warm up is jumping squats. This is a classic movement that I perform to get my heart racing and my blood pumping and also it really helps to activate my entire lower body and you know jumping squats are so easy to perform all you need is your body weight and that's it the second exercise in this cardio warm-up is alternating knees to elbows so you're going to be turned to one side and you're going to bring one knee up and then you're going to bring your arms in to kind of like touch one another but not really touch one another and then you're going to turn the other way and do the same with the other knee also all four exercises in this cardio warm-up are completed as a superset so make sure you complete all four exercises without taking a break in between and you're going to perform that three times so the third exercise in this cardio warm-up is just jumping jacks these are so easy to perform and I honestly forgot about jumping jacks. I've been performing so many other movements that I just forgot the very simple warm-up exercises that we used to perform. So yeah, I'm just doing jumping exercises and it really got my heart pumping. The fourth exercise is alternating jumping lunges. These are really great for the lower body and getting them burning. You only need to perform a few of these before you really start to sweat and feel the activation in your lower body. So you just want to perform one lunge and then you're going to jump and switch with the other leg in front. 
So now that we are all warmed up and our heart is pumping and our blood is flowing throughout our entire body, the first two exercises are a superset. And the first exercise in the superset is weighted banded hip thrust with abductions for every rep. So you can perform this exercise without a dumbbell. I am using a 50 pound dumbbell because I just need that extra resistance. You're going to thrust your hip upwards and once you're at the top of the hip thrust, you're going to abduct your legs outwards against the resistance of the band. My feet are placed right next to each other so that I have more room to abduct my legs. Whereas if you place your feet like in a sumo stance or shoulder width stance, it might be kind of hard to abduct your legs since your legs are already spread out pretty far. So you have a better range of the abduction movement if you place your feet close together. So this exercise is going to target your gluteus medius with the hip abductions and also you're going to get some gluteus maximus activation as well with the hip thrust. And the second exercise in the superset is hip thrust hold. So basically, once you're finished the last exercise, you're going to go straight into this one and you're going to hold this hip thrust position for a good 10 seconds. And you're increasing the gluteus medius and also the gluteus maximus time under tension, which plays a huge role if you're trying to build those muscles. So I've been incorporating like hip thrust holds in my glute workouts because I find it activates those muscles so easily. So the third exercise in this workout is sitting banded hip abductions. So for this exercise, you want to be sitting on the ground and you're going to have the band placed right around your thighs, above your knees, and you're going to place your feet right next to each other. This way you'll have a greater range of movement when you're performing abductions. And then you're going to slowly abduct your legs outwards and then bring them back in. And the fourth exercise in this workout is flat legged hip abduction. So this is a variation to the last exercise. So instead of having your feet bent up towards your body, you're going to lay out your legs flat on the ground in front of you. And then you're going to abduct your legs out to the side while maintaining straight legs. And the fifth exercise in this workout is long loop banded lateral steps. So this is another hip abduction movement as you've noticed throughout this entire workout. It's very hip abduction focused since that is the primary motion that the gluteus medius is involved in. So you're going to step over the long loop band and you're going to cross it and kind of make like an X. And then bending down slightly, you're going to step out to the side against the resistance of the long loop band. So if any of you guys are interested in this long loop band, I will have the link for it down in the description box. You can just get it on my website. It's been super handy to have during quarantine because I can just perform so many more exercises and it also provides some resistance for my glutes. And the sixth exercise is diagonal kickbacks. So instead of performing kickbacks right behind you, which is where you'd be kicking back for a conventional kickback, you're actually going to angle your leg out diagonally and then you're going to lift up your leg in that direction. I find when I place my leg in a diagonal position, it targets my gluteus medius and my gluteus minimus more than placing it behind me. When I place it behind me, I can feel it mainly in my gluteus maximus and not so much in the two uh, side muscles. And the second exercise in this workout is long loop banded standing fire hydrants. So this is exactly like a fire hydrant on the ground, except instead of on the ground, you're just using the couch for support and you're standing upwards. So I'm placing the long loop band under the peg of the couch and then I'm wrapping it around my knee and keeping my leg bent. I'm abducting my leg out to the side against the resistance of the long loop band. And I like performing exercises with equipment just because it does activate my gluteus medius and gluteus minimus so much more compared to performing it with just my body weight. The long loop band provides resistance and tension towards the gluteus medius. 
And as you can tell here, I've just worked my gluteus medius so much and I just fall to the ground. <laughs> So that was it for the workout. I really hope you guys enjoy this. Definitely give it a thumbs up if you did and you want to see more home workouts like this one. I do want to film a workout that doesn't require any equipment. I did that already, but I want to do another one. And yeah, follow me on over at my Instagram. Subscribe if you aren't already. And I hope you're all doing well. And I hope you have an amazing day. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.